So in this video, we will be discussing the aldol condensation Condensation is the reaction where two molecules combine with or without the elimination of another small molecule, usually water. And aldol, this word comes from the combination of two words that is aldehyde and alcohol. So the product is an aldehyde with the hydroxy group and uh, even if in most cases the product is not the aldehyde with the hydroxy group but this name is given to the whole class of reactions. So in aldol condensation alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compounds they undergo self condensation in presence of a dilute base to form beta hydroxy aldehyde or beta hydroxy ketone depending upon the starting material. So for example, this is acetaldehyde, let us take two molecules of acetaldehyde in presence of dilute base such as NaOH. So, two molecules of acetaldehyde undergo self condensation reaction to form beta hydroxyaldehyde that is this is the product of aldol condensation. So, this is the beta carbon and OH group is attached to this beta carbon so beta hydroxyaldehyde and another name the IUPAC name is 3 hydroxy butanal. Let us take another example CH3 CH2 CHO. This is propanal. So, this is the alpha carbon, and there are two alpha hydrogens. So, obviously, it will undergo self condensation reaction in presence of a dilute base. and we get beta hydroxy aldehyde or another name is 3 hydroxy 2 methyl pentanal. Let us take an example of a ketone. This is acetone. So, acetone, two molecules of acetone in presence of dilute barium hydroxide, the acetone reaction is best done with insoluble barium hydroxide. So, we get the beta hydroxy ketone or another name of this product is 4 hydroxy 4 methyl pentan 2 one and if carbonyl compounds do not have any alpha hydrogen, then they will not undergo self condensation reaction or the aldol condensation reaction. For example, formaldehyde, benzaldehyde, and uh, the ketone. Benzophenone etc. they will not undergo aldol condensation reaction as they do not have any alpha hydrogen. Now the mechanism of the reaction, the alpha hydrogen atoms of the carbonyl compounds they are slightly acidic in nature. Due to the presence of this electron withdrawing minus I effect of the carbonyl group. Due to this effect, this carbonyl group withdraws the electron from this adjacent carbon-carbon bond and as a result this carbon, this alpha carbon becomes electron deficient that in turn withdraws the electron from this carbon-hydrogen bond. So as a result, this hydrogen atom is weakly held 
and it can be easily removed by the base OH negative and we get enolate ion that gets stabilized by resonance. So as the OH negative removes the alpha hydrogen the carbon now has negative charge when the negative charge drops this bond shifts and we get the enolate ion plus water this enolate ion is the conjugate base of the carbonyl compound so step 1 here I am taking alpha hydrogen containing aldehyde, the acetaldehyde and this is one of the alpha hydrogen atoms. So OH negative is going to remove this alpha hydrogen and that removal leads to the formation of enolate ion that gets stabilized by resonance. So as the hydrogen is removed, now the carbon has the negative charge. So this negative charge drops and this bond shifts. So we get resonance stabilized enolate ion plus water. Now step 2. This OH negative is not basic enough to enolize the aldehyde molecules completely. So each molecule of enolate ion is surrounded by aldehyde molecules which are not enolized and they still have the electrophilic carbonyl group intact. So what happens? The enolate ion being a strong nucleophile. attacks the electrophilic carbonyl group of the second molecule to form an alkoxide ion. This is the alkoxide ion. Now step 3. This alkoxide ion is protonated by this H2O formed in the first step. So this is H2O and this is the alkoxide ion. So this alkoxide ion is protonated by the H2O plus OH negative. Notice that this OH negative is regenerated in the last step. So it is truly a catalyst. If you consider ketone, for example, the acetone, each reaction step is same. So first step, that is step 1. This is one of the alpha hydrogen atoms. So when OH negative is going to attack the alpha hydrogen, one of the alpha hydrogen atoms, enolate ion is formed. That gets stabilized by resonance. In step 2, this enolate ion being a strong nucleophile attacks the second molecule of the acetone, attacks the carbonyl group of the second molecule to form the alkoxide ion. So this is the alkoxide ion.
and in the last step the alkoxide ion is protonated by water there is a h2o over there and we get our product beta hydroxy ketone or 4 hydroxy 4 methyl pentan 2 on plus OH negative the catalyst. Now the elimination of the aldol product in basic condition the elimination is not normal because the OH group is a bad leaving group and it is the carbonyl group that allows the elimination reaction via E1CB mechanism but in acidic condition elimination is easier because in acidic condition the elimination occurs by E1 mechanism. So when aldol products for example this is the aldol product of acetaldehyde two molecules of acetaldehyde that is 3 hydroxy butanol when heated with dilute acid dilute H2SO4 we get alpha beta unsaturated compound or another name of this compound is croton aldehyde. Let us take another example of the aldol product of two molecules of ketone. when heated with dilute acid we have alpha beta unsaturated compound or another name is mesetyl oxide a point one should note that in aldol condensation we are using dilute base because if the concentration of the base is high then further reactions occur and aldol products get dehydrated. Now what happens in case of unsymmetrical ketone? For example, this is tertiary butyl methyl ketone and let us take acetophenone in this case the ketone is blocked on one side so it cannot enolize but enolization must occur towards the methyl group. So in the first step the OH negative is going to attack one of the alpha hydrogen atoms and we have the resonance stabilized enolate ion. plus water. So in the next step the enolate ion which is a strong nucleophile attacks the carbonyl group of the second molecule to form the alkoxide ion.
So this alkoxide ion in step 3 is protonated by the water formed in the first step. And finally, we have our aldol product. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.